Come inside, don't be shy, Jolene can't wait to meet you. For a trailer park Christmas, the trailer park way, with a brand new recipe every day. Sending videos from her trailer, yeah, she's Jolene Sugar Baker. Come and spend the holidays, the trailer park way. Well, hi there, Trailer Park fans. It's Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen. And welcome to the Trailer Park Test Kitchen. And welcome to another edition of Cooking with Jolene, the Trailer Park Cooking Show, where I teach you how to live on a budget and do it the Trailer Park way. Well, Merry Trailer Park Christmas Eve. And I know y'all are probably having a party or a get together with family, but you know, I do a video every day according to my calendar that you can download on my website, trailerparkchristmas.com. You can use it to look back on all the great recipes and the crafts that we already did. But today we're actually doing a cake that will certainly be great on Christmas Day. And it actually uses a secret ingredient. You can kind of go, you won't guess what's in that cake. Well, today's cake actually has mashed potatoes in it, which is a staple for any holiday, but it's called my mashed potato caramel cake, and it's certainly a great cake that you can surprise your friends or family with around the holidays. I'm going to show you how to make it up next. I'll be right back. Welcome back. Making my mashed potato caramel cake is really simple and definitely a surprise on the buffet table when you tell people what it's made with. I'm using a stand mixer today, but you can certainly whip this by hand. I've got three-fourths cup of butter that we're going to put here into the mixer right now with two cups of granulated sugar. And we're going to cream this together until it's nice and creamed. So let me get this started and check back with you in just a moment. Okay, now I've got the butter and sugar cream together. I'm going to add four eggs and whip it around again. So let me get that started and check back with you in just a moment. Okay, I've got a half teaspoon of salt. We're gonna add that right on in there. And now we need a teaspoon of baking soda right on into the bowl, just like this. There we go. Whip that around just a little bit. Okay, now I have a cup of sour milk. And what that is is a cup of milk with about a teaspoon of white vinegar added to it and just let it sit just a little bit. So let me add that and let me get that started. Okay, I have a teaspoon of cinnamon. That goes right on in there. And this is a half teaspoon of ground cloves. This gives it kind of a spice taste to it that I really like. I've got one square of baking chocolate that I've melted down a little bit. And we're gonna add that to the mixture just like that. Now we've gotta add some of the dry ingredients. Now that's two cups of all-purpose flour. You're gonna add that a little bit at a time and get it well mixed. Okay, now comes the secret ingredient. And I made some instant mashed potatoes just with the water. I didn't add the butter or the salt. Definitely don't use like garlic mashed potatoes. But you need a cup of that. And this just adds a great moist texture to the cake and no one will know the difference. But we need a cup of those potatoes in there. And we're gonna mix it around until it's well blended. There we go. Especially for the holidays, mashed potatoes are just great. So let's go ahead and mix this around. Okay, now we got our batter all mixed up. I'm gonna use a long pan today that I sprayed out, but you can certainly use the nine inch circle pans and you can make like a layer cake. But what I'm gonna do is just pour this out into the pan and look at that creamy batter and I know the secret it's mashed potatoes and you can tell people later that you actually put mashed potatoes in it and they'll be surprised but it really just makes a great batter for this cake and it does have the holiday spice in it now with a cake it takes about um, at 350 degrees and you can use a toothpick test to make sure that it's okay and ready so go ahead and set your timer And 
there you have it, my mashed potato caramel cake. Won't they surprise your friends when you tell them that you made it with mashed potatoes? We use the cloves and the cinnamon, and you could use any nuts that you like too, but you could put some caramel sauce up on top of it, or any uh, kind of icing, or maybe just some whipped cream, but I can't wait to try this. Mmm! That is so moist, and mmm! That tastes like the holidays, especially with all those spices together. Mmm! I hope you get a chance to make my mashed potato caramel cake, and if you do, send me pictures at JoleneSugarBaker at gmail.com. Don't forget to follow the trailer park on Twitter. I'm Jolene's Trailer there. Add me as a friend on Facebook. I'm Jolene Sugarbaker there. And, of course, I'm on Google Plus, too, so find me there, too. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up, because there's more recipes coming in the new year, too, and... I know it's Christmas Eve, and there's one more thing coming up tomorrow, especially on Christmas Day, so I'll check in with you all. I've had such a great time, so be sure to check in tomorrow with me. I love you all, and Merry Trailer Park Christmas. Enjoy. Bye-bye. Slap on all your blue eyes shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with Bye. pride Bye. in the double wide. Visit my store at trailerparkstore.com.